had a few students who went home and said, like, oh, I've painted this picture, I've been sketching, like, I was up painting till 3 o'clock in the morning, and, you know, if I can light that fire underneath them to create and be creative and express themselves, then I did my job, so. Hi, I'm Laverne Cox, and you're watching Out at the Center. Hit it, hit it. Sarah Rice is a housemate on MTV's Real World Brooklyn Edition. She interned at the center where she created and ran a free weekly art class called Mirror Mirror on the Wall, Self-Image Awareness Through Art. The class was dedicated to the creativity of the human spirit and the process of healing by exploring the experiences and expectations of self-image in today's culture. After the class, there was a reception where the students exhibited their work to friends, family, and housemates. I've been an art therapy student for a few years now, and I got an opportunity with the center to facilitate a five-week course um, just dedicated to helping people express themselves creatively uh, through different mediums, and amazing things came out of it. This was art therapy, it wasn't just art. So we were supposed to express ourselves emotionally through the paintings. We were basically dealing with a lot of issues surrounding identity, sexual, gender, ethnicity, and class. What was really exciting was the feeling that I was free again to express myself as a child. No pressure, no restraints. We had, you know, people who were part of the SAGE program and then people who were, you know, 20 years old. So male, female, gay, straight, we had full range. So, because anybody could be an artist. Oh yes, it's a wonderful show. We each have two pieces of artwork on the other side of the room. And Barbara, you have a handicap. How did you manage to do art? Um, I'm legally blind, but what I do is I learn through the Jewish Guild how to do certain things with my hands to feel the colors and the texture of what I'm doing. And, um, and I do it. I've known for at least 20 years that I need to be doing more creative work. My father was the artist of the family and I was not accepted for various reasons. <laughs> And so this class was a great opportunity for me. There were no excuses. Everything was there to, to use, and I certainly did with gusto. <laughs> Could you point to your picture and tell us what it sort of means to you and what the colors mean? Well, this was a self-portrait exercise that we had done. This was supposed to be a self-portrait of how we feel we look to the outside world. Very colorful, bright, and happy. This work is, is inspired by my inner auric vision. And what you're actually seeing are depictions of the eighth chakra. You know, I felt a little mixed up, I guess, and that's kind of what was reflected there, but. We had to do a portrait at one point, and I chose the defining feature of my hair. I've gotten a lot of grief because of it. I'd had to endure horribly racist remarks throughout my younger life because of it. Apparently it wasn't Caucasian enough and that was a part of my identity that I really had to be an individual and not be part of a group. Each square represented uh, a state of emotion. The one on the top uh, represented the thing that makes us happy the most and uh, in my case it's writing so that's why I put it actually upside down blah blah blah. I had a few students who went home and said like oh I painted this picture I've been sketching like I was up painting till three o'clock in the morning and you know if I can light that fire underneath them to create and be creative and express themselves then I did my job. I was so overcome after I completed the work and I stepped back and looked at it I, I was filled with waves of emotion. Uh, I cried several times because I was seeing the bad along with the good. To, to, to 
the serious problems and the joy, all of the things that make life beautiful and interesting. You know, one of my favorite moments was when two of the students at the very end of the class, uh, when we had completed all the projects, came up to each other and they were like, you know, I really love your work. It was wonderful working with you and you taught me so much about expressing myself. And they shared like this intimate little moment and like hug and kiss on the cheek and I was like, it was adorable. <laughs> so that moment right there made me feel really good about the class and about people's experience in the class. So. And that's all for this excerpt from Out at the Center. If you want to see the full show, check it out on our website at gaycenter.org slash out. I'm Laverne Cox. Until next time, stay in the love.